Hello, it's Saturday afternoon. Um, I'm just about to go for my 5k run, which is actually going to be longer than 5k. Um, and I just thought I'd just share this top tip with you <clears throat> to show you how I get my not park run 5k time when your run is longer than 5k. So um, that's your standard great notley page but we're going to come to that in a second um and to great pains to me i've closed loads of my tabs down and i've just got the four tabs that i'm interested in we're just interested in is, um my strava so where my my re oh it closes it <laughs> let's open it again so um you go to strava just to show this is uh not heavily edited this is um what we're doing so we go to strava we log into strava um And when it logs in, there we go. So this is my Strava feed. Uh, what you would normally do with your 5Ks, you can go into your activities. Um, so this is uh, going to show uh, yesterday activities, and it's longer than 5K, 8.75K. So what you can do with Strava, you can sort of go on here, and I'm sure maybe, oh, maybe there's a better way of doing this on here, but you can sort of look on here, 5K. And, uh, uh, no, maybe I'll go along here. You could do it like this. You could do maybe that. And you can sort of read the time off of there. It's 34.22. Not my fastest 5K. I think there's other things you can do on here. Maybe there is a feature in Strava to do splits. I'm sure you can. But what I do is I use Velo Viewer. So Velo Viewer, um, if I log out. VeloView is all based on a website, so you don't have an app or anything. Um, when you get to the VeloViewer website, veloviewer.com, um, you uh, get to connect to Strava. Now, mine, I've already saved, saved uh, my login details on this, so um, it's not going to prompt me for a username and password. But for you, it'll say, what's your Strava username and password? Right? Um, you need to pull your details into the VeloViewer uh, website getting you um, an updated activities and this is where it pulls all your details across the velo viewer um, and then what you can do is velo viewer gives you loads of extra groovy stats on um, on your activities so this is now using your strava data um, to get all your your groovy stuff uh, so these are my previous years on where I've been running. So it shows me this is my projected year for this year and uh, all this sort of really cool stuff. Anyway, so the bit I wanted to show you in Veloviewer is if you click on activities, you can see all of your previous activities. Um, and that's that very same Countess Cross one, 8.75K. Um, you click on that one. Okay, and that shows you your run, and you could do your usual stuff with the run, right? You can have a look at it and everything, which is great. Um, but there's a bit on here where you can go best splits, okay? So here you've got your best split. So you've got your one min, five min, quarter kilometer, half a kilometer split. Not very helpful, but one here is called 5K split. You click on 5K, and it adds this new split here. And now, if you highlight it, look. So my fastest 5K was that bit there towards the end, right? 33.22. Because obviously for the first part, I'm fiddling with my phone, messing with my jacket, I'm warming up, legs warming up. And also if you look at the profile, it's all uphill, right? So my fastest 5K throughout that entire one is one towards the end. So that is for that day, my fastest 5K, right? So... As an example, where well, this could be it's really cool, right? Um, if I go to your data, activities, it's another way of doing it, using a little menu at the top. If I pick another one, uh, let's say Jane Snowy Trial Adventure. Um, this one, right? Look at that, it's quite a long one. Best splits might not necessarily be the last 5K. We add 5K, and it's this weird bit in the middle. So a bit from the start, to the bit in the end, so it works it all out for you. For granted, 43 minutes, 18 seconds is not going to be a PB for me. Um, it's probably getting feet wet about, maybe about there. Um, so, very useful tip. So, once you've got your time, um, 
let's do one live. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go activities. Let's enter yesterday's one, which is this one, because I've not been for a run today yet. Um, so this is going to be the 19th. Uh, there you go. Type dates up there. 19th. Click on best splits. Uh, add 5k so I can see my fastest 5k. So I'm just about to have a cat come jump on my lap. Go away, Jackie. I'm busy. 33 minutes 22. Um, we go to our not park run uh, sign in page. Here it is. We enter our details, your barcode number and your password, which I have conveniently saved. Uh, that's your profile page, which is all should be all very familiar. And you can click on not park run and select the date. So the date we're interested in is, look, I've not entered, entered any this week, but the one we're interested in is this one, 19th of February. And just have a quick check, 19th of February, 33.22. I've got a cat now, it's just dribbling on my arm, which is really disgusting. 033.22. Click on Submit. Do, do, do. There we go. 33.22 is added to my not part run time. Um, now, if we go on to your home park run, which for me is Great Notley, obviously, um, we can go to your results. So these are your regular results pages. These are your new super duper not park run results pages. Uh, this top one is this week's results. And we click here, we do sort, we can do a sort by the fastest ones. It's Toby at the top there. But let's have a look, see, because I've only entered the one, it should have Len on here. It might take a while for it to update. But no, there he is. There's me. I've entered one today. 33.22. And that's as simple as it is. So I just thought I'd share that with you on how to uh, extract your fastest 5K uh, from your Strava results. Ta-da!